So I just wanted to do a quick video talking about the importance of moisturising your scalp. Uh, as you guys know, this is something I recommend and talk about quite a lot. It's a question I get asked about pretty much every time I do a treatment. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. Moisturising is quite important, um, especially in the build up to and during the intervals, uh, like sort of like between your sessions. Um, it helps to keep your skin in really good condition, prevents the dryness, um, can sort of get rid of that sort of surface layer that tends to peel sometimes after you've got the treatment done, sort of in between your treatments. And it makes my job much easier. Um, if you think about it, if I'm having to break through sort of dry, flaky, rough skin, um, as you can imagine with the needle, um, and the ink trying to penetrate and trying to get into your scalp, that can be quite difficult sometimes. So I really do advocate people use the aloe vera gel. Um, that's the one I recommend quite a lot. Or if you've got a prescription sort of uh, moisturizer, even some people have um, asked me about e E45, or is it E45 or E40? E45 for him, I think it is, but that's a really good one. Um, but yeah, it's really, really important. The other thing I'm gonna say to you guys as well is, don't only think about sort of like external to internal in terms of skin, but make sure you're drinking a lot of water as well. That's really good for your skin. Make sure you're getting your vitamins in. So that's whether you're vitamins A, uh, vitamins B5, vitamin C, vitamin E, all those sort of combinations are quite important for your, your skin as well. Um, when you're going outside, you're going sort of like in a hot country or hot environment, Remember to protect the scalp. Um, make sure you're using something that's sort of like SPF, sort of anywhere between 30 to 50 as well. Um, but if you do go out and about and it's just generally a sunny day, I would say don't worry about it too much. But if you're going to be in a particular area where the sun's going to be hitting your scalp for a prolonged period of time, then protect it. And if you are finding that you're in an environment where the skin is drying out or the treatment's drying out, especially on top of the head, then definitely. Um, moisturize and, and get that protected now in terms of the aloe vera gel it's very straightforward okay you don't need to use a lot a, a lot as you can see i'm just using a little bit so i'll just put a little bit on my hand there okay and i just rub that in really lightly you know, and then i just sort of just rub it on my head there and that's enough you only need to do this sort of like once or twice a day now some people have complained um, that it does give off sometimes a little bit of a sheen and they don't like it and in certain lights they can't see their treatment. That's perfectly fine, I understand that, that definitely does happen. I'd say continue to use this or other products like this um, where it doesn't ha where, where it gives the sheen, at least use this within, you know, sort of like the first couple of weeks, um, sort of like after, even after your last treatment. But once your treatment is settled for about a month or two, you can then move on to your sort of mattifying products, whether that's your Peter Roth Thomas um, mattifier. You can also use the L'Oreal Pura Matte. Sometimes you can just use a, a, a you know a branded product, so like a Boots or a Superdrug brand, whatever kind of works for you. But the the the, the whole point is this video is really to stress that moisturising is really important helps to keep your skin in really good condition. That's only a bonus and a plus for your treatment as well. If the skin in which the treatment is held is being kept in its best condition, then that gives you the best possible chance of your treatment not fading, it retaining its color and its form as well. So the dots are exactly how I place them, okay? But that's pretty much it for this video. So just a little tip there and just a little reminder. Um, I'll be doing a few of these videos just kind of like here and there when sort of topics come up. Um, I had my client this morning and he asked a few questions about moisturising so I thought it would be time to sort of speak about it. And you can get this at Holland Barrett, I think it's now in the penny sale. I don't know when you're going to see this video so it might not be relevant but at worst case scenario it's no more than one one ninety nine or two fifty. So you can get this um, and it's, it's really good. I, I've, I've been using it for a while and I have no problems with it at all. Okay, anyway guys, take care, I'll see you soon.